But I want to develop a, a new framework of productivity, a new framework, a new understanding of what is productivity mean. The definition we use at ProductiveMuslim.com, and I want this definition to be embedded in your mind, our definition is productivity is energy times focus times time. Energy times focus times time. Let's think about this for a minute. You might have lots of energy, right? Super energetic, but you're not focused. You're distracted. Can you be productive? You can't. You might have, I'll be good with you in a minute. You might have lots of energy, lots of focus, we don't have time. Can you be productive? No, you can't. You might have focus and time, but you just lack energy. You're really tired. Can you be productive? No, you can't. So you need energy, focus, and time to be productive. And over the next two days, we'll go in detail how to get energy, focus, and time. How to manage your energy levels, how to manage your focus, and how to manage your time in a way to make you productive. And most importantly, is this last point towards maximizing your akhirah. I was giving a joke yesterday in the, in the message Noor. I said, you know, people, you know, guys who play video games, they got energy, they got focus, and boy, they got time. Right? 13 hours straight. By the way, I used to be one of them. I used to, at one point, I used to be a 13 hour stream in a video game. So don't tell me I'm not productive yet. So I used to have those, those, those bad habits. Alhamdulillah, now Alhamdulillah saved me from those. But energy, focus, time towards a beneficial goal. And there's nothing more beneficial for us than maximizing our and akhirah, seeking the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and seeking Jannah. You know, Stephen Covey, in said that seven habits of highly effective people, says what he says, he says, begin with the end in mind. For a Muslim, the end is very clear. The day we stand in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we answer his questions. That's the end in mind. Energy, focus, time. Any questions so far? Any questions so far? Don't be shy. Ask your questions. This is your time. And remember, you've got to teach this to somebody else. So you make sure you have all the questions because they're all going to ask you questions. And I won't answer any emails by after this. <laughs> Alright. Okay. So, the other words. A productive lifestyle is about making continuous smart choices with your energy, your focus, your time. What time should I sleep? What time should I wake up? Should I turn off my phone notifications so I can stay, stay focused? When will I plan this time to do this? You're making smart choices with your energy, your focus, your time to maximize your potential in each of your roles. Most of you are mothers, workers, wives, husbands, employees, neighbors, Volunteers, you have multiple roles in your life. And in Islam, it's not about being successful in one sense. Unfortunately, the sort of consumerist model of success says, oh, as long as you become successful at work, everything else doesn't matter. Assalamu alaikum. Give it hell. As long as there's someone else in mind, there is, um, you know, as long as somebody else is successful in your employees, it doesn't matter whatever else happens. But no, in Islam, you have to be successful in every single one of your roles. So, a productive lifestyle is all about making smart choices with your energy, your focus, and your time to maximize your potential in each of these roles. Now, what is not productivity? Because we all know what productivity is. What is productivity? Energy, focus, time, towards maximizing world akhirah. Okay, what is not productivity? And productivity is not an event. You don't sort of wake up in the morning and go, ah, I'm productive today, right? It's not, an, it's not a one-off event. You wake up in the morning and suddenly, oh, I'm productive today. It's a process. All everything I want to teach you now, yes, it's a crash course. Yes, it's two days. I'll give you a lot of information. But I don't expect you to, to start immediately overhauling your life overnight. It will take time. There is a process. You have to follow that process. So productivity is not an event. It's a process. Productivity is not boring. People think, man... This productive guy, no TV maybe, no Facebook, this guy is like super boring. No, productivity is actually quite fun. Why? Because you know when to have fun and you know when to work. You know when to play hard, you know when to work hard. That's, that's the essence of productivity where you don't feel like you're stressed. Have you ever noticed why the logo of Productive Muslim is some guy relaxed, drinking coffee? I get a lot of comments, like, brother, that logo looks, looks so unproductive. I'm like, no, it's exactly. Productive, why? Because the dude is so relaxed, he knows exactly when to have fun 
and when to work hard, and when to be productive. And that's the balance between the two. And finally, productivity is not about being busy. It's not like, oh, I'm busy, 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 busy. That's productive. No. It's about being organized. You have a time for everything. That's productivity. Someone who tells you it's always busy, I'm like, you're not productive. Someone says, oh, I'm, too, you know, I'm always all over. That means there's something wrong with your productivity. The way you're managing your time is not appropriate. The way, if, you, if you're organized, that's